A giant fence now surrounds the public library in Socorro. The city says it was put up to keep the riffraff out, but some residents say it looks like a prison and children shouldn't have to walk through bars to check out a book. News 13's Francesca Washington has a story. Socorro resident Gwen Roth says the city's public library looks anything but inviting. I think there's way too many prisons and it reminds me of prison. The city installed this wrought iron fence around the building in June. And when she saw it, she took her concerns and this letter to the city council. It happened to be right at the time that the big news was breaking about the federal government separating the immigrant families. I just felt like the kids shouldn't have to uh, go through that. Library officials say this building is more than 100 years old, but over the years has had several things added on to it. And now this fence is just another addition to enhance safety. When I first um, came into the library, we had a lot of broken windows. Um, we'd have syringes left out in the front yard as well as trash. Library director Chelsea Lyons says the courtyard turned into a hot spot for late night trespassers and criminal activity. Our first step was to get the cameras installed, and when that didn't um, alleviate the, the issues we were having, we actually installed some, some motion, you know, LED lighting. But she says in the summer, with 80 to 100 kids in the building each day, even they started to notice the problems. When children were bringing that to our attention, we really had to, to step up and, and make some changes here. Many residents are on board with the fence. It gives us a, like a really southwesterny kind of look, and... Um, we just like it. But Roth believes there are people in her community turning a blind eye. Ignoring the real problem and you know putting a band-aid to, uh, to say that you've taken care of it, but it's not really addressing the underlying problems of the community. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. The library director says since the fence was installed, they haven't had any issues with late night trespassers or criminal activity.